this is the harvest journey and the harvest celebration and whatever you celebrate or don't celebrate or how you celebrate is up to you but in the wind clan and in the wind work we are consciously trying to move our lives from a linear landscape into a more cyclical sacred universe whereas these these uh, markers like this end of October is a time when we move from uh, working closer with the the south wind to the west wind moving into the cold white wind of the north boreas and so we've moved away from these sacred moments where you really mark this time of the harvest mark and really take a, a step back and look at what did i harvest what am i harvesting and how does that look in my life at the moment and how is this harvest going to bear fruit in the coming cycles because it's not just enough to get enough pumpkin to eat for the fall but do you get the seeds do you plant the seeds are the seeds you're planting going to grow more pumpkins next year that maybe you could share with your community and your family and your friends and those seeds that are going to feed you for many many years to come and it's crucial at this time that we start to think about our lives in terms of these important occasions that are really about getting us back to uh, a time where we're more in relationship to nature our nature we are nature that is everything and if the more we become an, attuned to it and realize it the the better so basically i thought we would come together as community and i actually recorded this journey this morning so as well so that it's going to be um engineered and and then I'll, I'll send out a link for that because sometimes you never know and i don't know how the facebook is going to echo or not echo while I'm, I'm talking and journeying but hopefully you can hear me so we're talking about the harvest and rituals for the harvest time are recorded as far back as writing go back for the tablets so for thousands and thousands of years people have been doing harvest rituals around grapes, around olives, around hay, around all kinds of different subjects or uh, uh, ingredients that are really important to them, their civilizations at that time. And right now, we might want to take a look at what are we harvesting? What is important to us at this civilization at this time right now? And, and let's begin by just closing our eyes and saying a, a, a prayer of gratitude for the fire and the water and the air and the earth and the spiritual spirit life forces and essences. And I have to grab a wind whistle because as I said, I was all set up outside. Hence, I don't love going live and here's the cat now wanting to go out. But the, here we go for the prayer of gratitude. And so we'll start by taking some deep wind breaths in and out as we, we find that reverence for our, ourselves. And maybe I'll, I'll videotape the, the altar that I've set out there. Where am I? Oh, I just look, there's a delay. <laughs> look over the phone. Where did I go? Oh no. Oh no, Mr. Bill, where am I? All right. So let's take a minute to come here no matter what the the diversion is or that i wanted to be in the pine trees and i'm now sitting in the office chair but that we're here together that we do what we have to do to be here together in community and that's what's important yes the altar for the ancestors is outside set there's the area for the grief uh, where I have candles set up for everything that I've lost this year, the people who have left, uh, the relationships that have fallen by the wayside, the dreams that have been broken. They each have candles out there, and I will, I'll will i be happy to, to share that with you in pictures later. And then there's the, the part of the altar that's the wind altar, the altar that's outside 
that's underneath the prayer flags that we make in the wind clan in january or february for the year ahead we 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 pull a wind spirit card for each month and then we put them and we decorate prayer flags with them for to to remember that we're not alone on this path that the wind spirits are working with us and we learn to cooperate with these uh, individual wind characters one month at a time during this process so that's out at the the altar the ancestors altar and then i have a, a, a gratitude plate for the ancestors who might show up today that i don't even know that i made a gratitude plate and it has on there um it has on some butternut squash and some cabbage some tangerines of course there's chocolate and sweets because the ancestors love to get enticed in over to your altar by a little bit of uh, sweetness if you have white wine and red wine you could put out some glasses of red and white wine for the ancestors and then whatever special touches you like to make and on my grief altar i have some salt to attract the sadness to attract the wounding um, and, and it's got a bowl of water to collect the dense energies because not all of our, our, our grief memories are are light. Some of them we, we would love to be absorbed into the water. I will. I know. I will take you out there. But it really was going to be, I was going to be 20 minutes late if I stayed out there trying to figure it out. The Everything was kind of cattywanked. I had it all planned out and then something shifted and I had to shift something else around. And here we are. And isn't that the way of life? And here we are. This shifted, that changed, the camera wasn't working correctly, but here we are. And that's the essence of this wind work. And here we are today together talking about our altars. And I definitely will go back out there with the camera and probably do a little live. But I wanted to do a journey, this really powerful journey about grabbing the energies of the gift of our harvest and taking them to Boreas, the cold white wind, and planting them for the spring, planting them for the time that the that they will grow when the spirit is right. Yes, the most important part, Trish, is that we are together. And you know what? I just want to say a big shout out to the Windwalker uh, apprentices who are here with us today because we are together. And not everyone who started the Windwalker journey 10 months ago is with us today, but we have a really solid group of 38 people who are still here after a year of really deep introspection, ceremony, commitment, showing up month after month for themselves. And they're here to, to celebrate their harvest as well. And one of the things we're going to be doing for our wind walkers for the harvest is we're actually going to be sending out a newsletter. Look for it. If you're not in the on our newsletter list, go over to thepracticalshaman.com and sign up. But all of them are making a special offering as a gift of gratitude, a gift of celebration. In the Lakota, they call this the Wupila ceremony, where we actually give back. You know, what are you giving back from your harvest? Did you, you know, did you bundle all everything you you gathered and kept it in your in your little pouch, or did you give some back? So, what are you giving back this fall? These are all questions that you can take out to your ancestor altar, and and did you really? appropriately thank your ancestors for giving you the light even those ancestors that hurt you the most you know i had a really hard time with my dad and you know he wasn't always the nicest nicest guy but you know he he gave me the gift of laughter the gift of showmanship the gift of um of charm <laughs> some of you might not agree with that but I do. And, you know, and some of my, my deeper my deeper looks are, are from my dad as well. So it wasn't all bad. So I want to celebrate that. Or, or my sister that passed away this year, you know, she had a really hard life. And yet there's something about my sister. I didn't find her judgmental about most of the people she encountered in her life. Maybe a little bit she was judgmental towards me or my mom, but you know, that there was this capacity, this deepness, this richness. So I want to celebrate that as well. I want to add some tangerines at the altar for her today. All right. Well, we were going to start now. I think we're ready. Now I can breathe. Now let's start with the three deep wind breaths in and out. 
and then I'm going to move right into the journey because that's what this is really all about is taking that journey and I want to say up front if it doesn't come out really well here I did pre-record it earlier this morning and I will have a cleaner version that you'll be able to get over at the practicalshaman.com website you'll have to give us your email or something like that and you'll get right over to the right over to that so that will be my fall offering my fall giveaway will be this harvest journey to the white wind of winter all right let's start with some wind breathing so grab your wind whistles if you don't have a wind whistle they're on sale starting tomorrow it's the, the annual holiday sale i say that because with every wind whistle package I'm adding wind spirit cards in there and with the wind whistlers toolkits you actually get an autographed signed wind so spirit book which makes it really helpful but so if you don't have a wind whistle don't feel bad but you could order one you can use your finger tie it up like this and make yourself a wind whistle So the wind breaths are on the first wind breath and we'll, let's do it four times because we'll call in each direction as we go and then I'll move right into the, the, the journey to the, the winter white wind of Boreas. But we're going to uh, start with, since we're ending up in the west, we're going to start with Boreas, we're going to call in Eurus, we're going to call in Notice and then we're going to start with the journey to the west. So take a deep breath in all the way to the belly and hold it. And then on the exhale, breathe out the wind, give it back to Boreas, the north wind. Stay empty. Change happens in the void, in the empty space. Now we're going to breathe in the east wind of Eurus. Hold it. And breathe out the east wind of ideas, memories, and beliefs. Now breathe in the south wind of notice emotional needs and desires and, and reflect back have your emotional needs and desires been met in 2021 and breathe out notice And now we're going to breathe in Zephyrus. It's going to take us on this journey of the harvest, this waning moon journey. Welcome Zephyrus into this healing space. And as we breathe out, Zephyrus, I'm going to pick up the drum and I'm going to ask you to imagine yourself in your garden.
by dancing and singing, playing your wind whistles. Moving around was our first the west wind. And as the fire recedes, find yourself coming back into the room. And be with that harvest. And I invite you today to go out and go to your, uh, your outdoor altar, your ancestors altar, and sprinkle a few seeds of this energy seeds, these fairy seeds, this energy dust that you, you got from your garden and your harvest onto your, you know, your, your altar so that you remember that you planted seeds and that the seeds will grow next spring or the following spring or the time when the seeds, when the conditions are right. We want to think that we're going to plant seeds and they're going to grow when we want them, but no, they grow when the conditions are right. I put tulips in the garden yesterday and I'm hoping that they'll come up in the spring, but one never knows. Okay, so this is a, a special day the the veils are pretty thin it's a really good day to spend some time with your ancestors and another thing you could do is if you have some unfinished business with an ancestor that's passed go in um maybe write a letter put that at your altar what i've got going on on my altar is that I, and i'm going to go back outside and show you is that i have a candle for each of the losses each of the separations, each of the disappointments. And there's only about nine or 10, but you know, if you need 20, 30, don't, who knows, they might continue to grow as the day goes on. And, and, I, and I just wanna thank you for being here with us today. And I wanna say that the I Am Symposium's coming up in December, and it's another opportunity to hold space at the fire with the community. That's what this wind work is all about. So join us in December. Consider joining us for the Wind Walk Adventure next year, the nine, 10 month program. And if you just only heard me today and this is the only thing you ever hear, go out and say a prayer to your ancestors. Aho. Uh -huh.